Hello everyone, and welcome back to Shop Time. In this episode, I have attempt two of remaking my friend Lisa's pocket holster after her puppy decided to turn it into a chew toy. In the last episode, when trying to remanufacture this holster, I marked and measured and tried to do everything perfectly and didn't get the result that I wanted. So in this episode, I pretty much wing it and end up with a much better result. After getting the first edges of the holster cut out, I wet it down the center to allow me to fold it over more easily. And then I'm able to cut the corners on the opposite side to match the original side, or the first side. I take an edge beveler to the piece. With that complete, I take sandpaper to the edge to get a nice finish. Once that's complete, I take the stitching groover to it to get ready for the next step. Alright, let me define some terms for this next part. The stitch that goes around the piece, that's what I'm calling the decorative seam. The stitch that goes inside the middle of the piece, that's what I'm calling the structural seam. Thanks to some input from my buddy Mike from the Newsboy Cap video, I can assure that the structural stitching will line up by way of punching both sides at the same time. I secure the two halves of the shell together using a large metal paper clip with a piece of scrap leather to protect the piece from the clip. With this in place, I can then punch both halves of the shell simultaneously. After that, I punch the remainder of the holes required for the decorative seam. Now for my favorite part of any leather craft project, the dyeing of the leather. For this, I am using Phoebe's Pro Dye Black. Just like with the first holster, after the dye is dry, I am going to apply a coat of tan coat. After it's dry, I will buff it then use a needle to clear all of the stitching holes. Time for sewing. And yes, the supervisor kitty is watching on. This is a saddle stitch. I am starting in the very last hole, or the very first hole, of the structural seam. But instead of doing the structural seam, I'm doing the entire decorative seam first and then doing the structural seam. Also, before sewing the structural seam, I hammer down my stitches on the decorative seam. A few inches of structural seam and this holster is done. Thank you for watching this episode of Shop Time. Be sure to check out, after you finish this video, Lisa's reaction video to receiving her new holster. I think you're going to like it. We'll see you next time.